So the autonomous vehicle industry is moving very fast and there are hundreds of developers building different solutions. Virtually every car maker, shuttles, robo taxis, all vehicles soon will be autonomous. Our job as a provider of the infotainment system is, is to provide options and capabilities. And, and what's really changing there is that everything that's available outside of the vehicle is now becoming available inside the vehicle. So that changes you know, the rationale for almost everything you do. So if you're, a, you're most comfortable with, with the Amazon environment and Alexa, we can provide that in the vehicle. If you're most comfortable with uh, a Google environment, we can offer you options there. So the car of the future will not just be driven by AI, but will have an AI cockpit. This will include beautiful visualization of the environment, could incorporate augmented reality, but will also use AI for the interface. So facial recognition, gesture recognition, not just speech recognition, but natural language understanding so that when you say something, the context is understood. I can now drive you to work based on mapping previous drives. Shall I engage autopilot? Oh, sure. Autopilot engaged. All of these technologies will come together to deliver a futuristic AI cockpit in the not too distant future. We'll also see cases where safety features are based on the AI. So we're able to then detect what's happening in the car. Is the driver distracted? Is the driver getting sleepy? And provide an alert. So instead of being in a queue in a line that, that has a, a 15 minute wait, you can pre-order in the car and, the, and you know how far you are from location. So I don't think this is singularly a technology or an, even an automaker uh, change. I think this disrupts a lot of industries and really starts to enhance experiences in things that you previously hadn't looked at because it wasn't possible. If you're going to drive from here in Las Vegas to San Francisco, why not get a car that has a lay flat bed and you can sleep overnight in it? or on your commute, maybe you wanna work, so you have more of a desk or office setup as you're being driven. Or you're going on a family vacation, you might wanna be able to watch movies or play games, so it feels more like a mini movie theater. I think we'll see a whole different type of vehicle emerge for each of these use cases that will, again, they'll bring augmented reality and AI into that user experience.